Ever wonder what will happen if we cut down all the trees and instead of planting trees, people plant buildings and tall structures that will and could conquer the earth? The earth will lose one important factor. My name is Dewi Amalia and I'll talk about how global warming will eventually change our lives and how we could prevent it from happening quickly. What is global warming and why is it very concerning? Global warming are also known as climate change. It is currently happening to the Earth. In a simple definition, it means that our planet is heating up. Our planet temperature has rise at its fastest rate in recorded history. In alternative definition, it is called the greenhouse effect. It allows heat from the sun to penetrate or to enter our atmosphere where it, where it will absorb by the Earth's surface or radiate it out and then reflected back to the earth by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases have risen since 1958 due to the Industrial Revolution. Humans have been contributing unnatural sources of greenhouse gases into the earth system, causing it to become unbalanced. What could potentially happen to the earth if this global warming increases? It could melt the glaciers, arctic animals could lose their home, severe drought that will eventually cause dramatic water shortages and wildfires. Major flooding could occur caused by the rising sea level. And not only that, if trees that we see every day are being slowly cut down tree by tree, where these actions are known as deforestation, human wouldn't survive because the air would be bad for breathing as trees play an important part in the carbon cycle where it, it circulates through the air into the organism and back again. With the absence of trees, the amount of carbon in the air will be high and the oxygen will be low. Thus, the air will be filled with dangerous and bad atmosphere such as carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. How do we stop it from happening? Or at least from happening really quick? First and foremost, speak up and voicing your concern because the smallest action can give the biggest impact if everyone is working together in stopping the planet from heating up. Home appliances also plays the big role in conserving the Earth energy. Number one, buying better bulbs. LED light bulbs use up 80% less energy than conventional incandescents. Secondly, investing efficient appliances that has green star on it as it can reduce the carbon footprint and also just because you can help you save a good amount of money on your energy bill. After investing money towards conserving energy, begin to do the smallest action that we would not take a glance to realize by switching off the lights when not in use. Same goes to the electronic appliances at home or try going for appliances with solar energy. Solar energy is a renewable source of energy which we cannot run out of it. We will have it as long there is sun. And try conserve water by taking a shower rather than a bath and using clothesline for drying rather than using dryer machine because that would consume a lot of energy. And when it comes to transportation, carpooling is the best way to do when your colleagues or friends are in the same area as you, you can always combine trips so it will emit less carbon monoxide. If not carpooling, cycling can do too. Another way that could help much more than other methods is by planting a tree. Simple. They not only give oxygen but take in carbon dioxide during a process called photosynthesis because a single tree can absorb one ton of carbon dioxide. Before I end my talk, I'd like to interview our guest, Dafina, who believes that protecting the environment from damage is important, is important, or in a simple word, a friend of the earth. Hi, my name is Dafina Avina, and I believe that global warming is actually happening. It bothers me so much that humans still do things that could impact the earth's temperature, causing global warming to happen quickly. The things you could do to slow down global warming is by planting trees, stop using plastic bags, and probably the easiest thing you can do is to maybe switch off appliances that you don't really need to use. And when you're not in the room, you can maybe switch off the fan, switch off the air conditioner, 
That way you can really save the energy for the Earth. I hope with our hard works and commitment, we could at least prevent global warming from happening quickly. Even a little action can make a huge difference. My name is Darian. Thank you for watching.